Now to say that I've been a fan of Brian Danielson's AEW run with me would be me lying to you. I have not been a fan of his AEW run. I'm sure that a lot of you, a lot of you AEW fans have loved this wrestling, but for me, it hasn't been it, man. The start, stop, the brutal matches, the things that just look like just how does he wake up and not be in a lot of pain, man? I, I don't know. I don't know. But now he's talking about his retirement and how his contract actually isn't is it going to go through Wembley. Will he even be at Wembley? Now, before I get into this video, I'm trying to hit 9,500 subs. Need about 120 more people to do so. I definitely appreciate it. Also, hit that like button. Need 100 likes on this video. Hit that like button for your boy. I definitely appreciate it. Now, Brian Danielson is coming out now to say that his contract with AEW does not extend until Wembley. I believe that is in late August. I'm not sure what his role will be in that. Um, I think he's facing Nigel or something. Um, I don't, I'm not looking forward to it. I'm going to be honest with you. It's not my style. Brian Danielson has not been my style. AEW Brian Danielson have not been my style, I should say. Um, overall, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't put him in a category as Edge. I do think his, you know, return to wrestling and his stunt, stint in AEW has been beneficial for some people, unlike Edge. But overall, you know, beneficial for his career, I would not say. I would not say so because, again, like I said in my in my last video, if you're having five-star matches but nobody's watching, is it really a five-star match? If I told you I hit 33s in a row in my driveway, would you believe it? Does it really matter? Is that something I could add to my resume? I don't know. I don't know. But I don't know. I'm not. This is not to say that I'd rather him be in WWE. No, I just would rather him be doing better work. Blackpool Combat Club has been a flop. It's been the worst thing to happen to AEW. That that to me is when AEW's momentum started really slowing down to me. When the Blackpool Combat the Blackpool fuck the BCC when that shit came on that that's when I lost all it. Like that's when shit started going downhill. When you really think about it now. I think that's hurt everyone involved except maybe Wheeler Yuta has put him on a kind of a platform. It really hurt William Regal's uh, stint in AEW, really hurt John Moxley's, really hurt Claudio's, and it definitely hurt Brian Danielson's. But, you know, they, they just they go from heel to face every other week. When one of them is a heel, the other one has to be. Now they're like weirdly tweeners, and it depends on the match they want to have. I don't know. It's been hard to follow and so hard to follow that. I just genuinely do not care. Uh, it, I don't. I, I just don't care about him. And as a byproduct, they brought down Brian Danielson. What I would like to see him do, I would love another feud with MJF, I guess. But you know, in perfect world, he would. I don't know. What is there to do? What is there for him to do? I know he runs a. I know he runs Collision on Saturdays. But that show is not. I went to Collision. I went to Collision a couple weeks ago. It wasn't good. It was boring. Twenty minute bangers that of people I don't care at all. A chop fest. It, it's just not fun it's just not fun and you know you can you could be the greatest wrestler in the world and not know how to put together a good show but that's just my opinion i know a lot, a lot of AEW fans watch it i know a lot of AEW fans love it even though a lot of them are tuning out that's his that's been his role really run AEW collision and then come in every other month and have a 20 minute banger that dave Meltzer loves that people have been calling that uh will osprey match the greatest match ever. I've had no interest in rewatching it because there was nothing on the line. People just come back. They they take a L. They come back and they're fine. I thought his neck was injured. Nobody's explained or nobody's brought up that he's been gone and now he's doing this anarchy in arena stuff. Who cares? Who cares? Why? Why is he doing it? I don't. I, I don't care actually. I don't care to even know why. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's. I would rather, in the perfect world, I'll be honest with you, he'll be in WWE right now. <laughs> in the perfect world, I've been I've been trying not to say it, but in the perfect world, he'll be in WWE right now, mixing it up with CM Punk, mixing it up with Seth Rollins, mixing it up with Roman Reigns, mixing it up with uh, 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 who Cody Rhodes. Them two are like ships passing in the night, Jesus. So uh, it, it's been a very disappointing couple years for him, for me personally. But if, he's ha if he likes it, I love it, man. That's That's... That's one of the goats right there, Brian Danielson, but it's been very disappointing, I should say. And I do wonder, you know, will he go back to WWE when this contract is up? I doubt it. I don't know. I don't know. I think he's going to retire with AEW for some reason, but, yo, again, if he likes it, I love it. I, that's my guy, so...
Even though I've been very disappointed in him, I, I, I'll live with it. I'll live with it because that is my guy. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comments, man. A, uh, Brian Danielson won't be in AEW too much longer. He only got a couple months left on this con. I think it expires three weeks before Wembley. Will he, will he stay? Will he stay? Do you, are you interested in him staying? Do, do you care? I care a little bit, but I don't, you know, it is what it is. It's, it's not like he's on the screen every week anyway. It's not like he's doing a lot of production anyway. It's not like he's doing great work for me personally anyway. But y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comments. Have a beautiful night. Sub to act. Peace.